Good morning. Um, we are on day 10 of the um, Faith Box Daily Devotional of Suffering this month. And today's verse is from 1 Peter 4, um, 12 through 13. Dear friends, don't be surprised at the fiery trials you're going through, as if something strange were happening to you. Instead, be very glad for these trials make you partners with Christ in suffering. Again, that's from 1 Peter 4, um, verses 12 through 13. And in the devotional, it's, it you know talks about, and I'll just read for those of you who may be listening as you drive or um, may not have your devotional handy. It says, you might have to read this scripture a second and even a third time. Did Peter really just say that we should be glad when we go through trials? How and why? And I'll touch on that in just a minute. The Apostle Peter wrote this letter to several groups of Christian believers who were scattered across Rome, Roman provin provinces due to persecution for their Christian faith. These were people who had to flee their homeland simply to preserve their lives and find safety elsewhere. Yet it was the, this audience Peter sought to encourage by challenging them to embrace their suffering. The way Peter, who was crucified upside down because of his unwavering faith in Jesus, saw it, suffering in the physical world gives us an opportunity to connect more deeply with Christ in the spiritual. In other words, suffering can become a means needed to unlock a greater level of intimacy, love, and partnership. How can you embrace your suffering as a means of understanding Christ. So <clears throat> this month when, when I saw what the theme was, I didn't have my box yet, um, but I'm glad I have it now. Suffering, the theme suffering, I was, I was kind of, kind of taken aback because, and the only reason is because right now I didn't really consider myself to be in a time of real suffering um and I, I am happy for that don't don't get me wrong I, I don't wish suffering on anybody however as we I started listening to the daily devotionals I realized that there are some there is some suffering going on in my life and it's really not as much as suffering as it is struggle um and it's it's just everyday life and it's something that I have to be diligent in relying on God with and not trying to control the situation and fix the situation myself and just you know I just I had to take a step back yesterday it was funny because I was just like you know I'm trying to control way too much and I'm so overwhelmed you know I just can't get anything done I feel like I'm failing everybody that I'm trying to help and so as I was praying about it it kind of God kind of said you know, which I've never heard his audible voice, but in my mind and in my heart, it was like, thank you. Thank you for finally taking a step back, letting me handle this because right now God is using me as a, a vessel to mentor um, a woman that's very close to me. She's going through some very serious changes in her relationship and she's young and emotions are definitely getting the best of her, which they do for all of us. However, this time last year, I was going through that exact same suffering. Um, and it was constantly, why? Why is this happening to me, God? Why, why would you do this? And it was so much of wanting to understand. Why would this person do this to me? Why would this happen to me? I mean, I wanted answers and I, and over the course of that, this last year, I realized that, one, you can ask why, but before you do, you really need to make sure that you are ready for the answer. Because in our head, we have an answer already. And it doesn't matter what the answer is, is that is given to us, we will never be satisfied by it. And likelihood is it's only going to cause more suffering and more hurt and more pain. So in the last year, I have stopped. 
I still make requests, obviously, but I've kind of changed my approach. And I say, God, I know that this is what I would like to be done, but I want your will to be done. And good or bad, whatever that will is, help me to embrace it, to learn from it, to appreciate it, and to use it going forward with others. I really liked what Brandon had talked about in the <clears throat> the very first day. And instead of saying why, say why not. So the other thing that I see too with suffering and the other thing that I've been sharing with with the the lady that I'm mentoring is although you can't see this right now, just like I couldn't see it a year ago, that that suffering God is actually going to take it and turn it into a blessing because had I not gone through that suffering last year, had I not turned to God, had I not been more diligent in the last year, I wouldn't be able to be a mentor to this, this girl right now. And through mentoring to her, I'm turning her back to God and working with her to help her get there, to understand that through suffering, we, we gain a, a better relationship with God. So <clears throat> I'm just going to encourage, um, you know, what Brandon said and just say instead of, and it's hard, I get it. It is definitely hard in the moment of suffering. Instead of saying, why, 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 and just being children of Adam and Eve and wanting to eat from the tree of knowledge and, and, and know everything, say, you know, ask him, what are you trying to teach me? And through that, you will start getting a better understanding. And one day, when you don't expect it, you are actually going to turn around and use that suffering and realize that that is now a blessing for somebody else in need who's going through maybe the same suffering. So for all of you that are out there suffering, know that we are, your community of Faith Box is praying for you. Uh, don't be afraid to put it out there on Facebook. We will continue to pray for you. Um, a lot of us will check back in with you. But just, just understand that although you can't see it now, there is a blessing that is going to come from this because God always blesses us. Y'all have a wonderful day. And I'm sorry it took a long time, but um, uh, God bless you guys. Bye.